I would say everyone collectively, those of us in the financial arena, think about finance as numbers and what we all underestimated was fear and how dramatic fear can be and what it can cause in markets. Then we can come back around to the financial analysis of too much leverage and lack of liquidity. But fear was, and, and indeed that was in letting Lehman go bankrupt, as it did, no one was able to fully com contemplate the second and tertiary consequences. And it was fear rolled into the money market funds, for example. Are you done gaming out in your mind what would have happened if it had not been allowed to fail? I actually, um, it, it, no, never. <laughs> you know, it's one of those, uh, those curious uh, cocktail party conversations, yes. what would what it could have. But I, I would say that the fear was so prevalent in the marketplace, even post Bear Stearns, that it was just, it was accelerating, picking up speed. You could even go back to when the financial guarantors got in trouble in late 2007. It was accelerating, and so I don't think any one company's incident was going to be enough one way or the other to be determinative. So I think we are going to end up with a major government program sometime. You mean sometime going forward? It, no, 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 at some it, point uh, then. At some point, at some point then. It was, it was inevitable. As it was accelerating and fear was seeping into all kinds of sectors of financials, as, as Hank Paulson rightly said, the bazooka. Something really big was needed, and we've seen that in other countries and in this country in other panics. It takes something really major to step in and stem fear. How much has the system improved since then? And, and where do the fragility still lie? I think uh, the system's dramatically improved. Uh, the banks are delevered. There's a lot more capital. The two things to look to are capital and liquidity. Both are meaningfully improved in the banks and the banking system. Uh, so I'm much more relaxed about banking system in and of itself. But the, uh, for a, a panic, there will be a downturn. There will be a recession, and banks are adversely affected. But it's one thing to lose some money. It's another to have a panic. So the places where I'd look, where I try to watch for, are connectivity. Where is their interconnectivity? I'll, I'll give an interesting example. Back during the last financial crisis and subsequent, in countries, it was even an issue. So Greece, we spent a lot of time about Greece. Turkey is four times larger than Greece, but it's not interconnected into a euro or into something, so it's of less consequence. So one thing to always look for is where the issues are, is it interconnected? I use another speculative bubble, Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies, you know, they're down 70 to 90 percent. Were that a large asset class and interconnected, we'd be having a really serious conversation right. here, but it's not. Right. It's do, not. do you think European banks are Much less. In, in enough danger and connected enough? I think it's, uh, no, I'm not as concerned about the euro. I could see a single European bank or in one country or another, but most of the banks in Europe have cut their exposure cross-border and into, and also into secondary markets, right. so they're more concentrated. So a bank in a country can go with its country, but I don't see as much interconnectivity there. What about the morality of banks and the ethics of banks, which was just on full display during the financial crisis? Has there been enough improvement there? No, no, I would say that in a sense that it's human behavior. Everyone, everyone, whether in America or at any level, both has greed and fear, and then they try to let ethics guide their behavior. There will always be bad apples. There will always be people that will take that too far. So I think there are a lot of rules that limit and constrain, but I actually uh, um, will take a view. There will always be some people that are attracted to money and are attracted to trying to figure it out. just breeds a culture of risk-taking? It, it can, and so the institutions are much more careful about it, much more cautious, of course, but a lot of actually what occurred last time was not unethical, and it wasn't illegal, it was greedy. And so you could say, well, they were really greedy and overly aggressive, but that's not, you know, there's a whole discussion, whole another topic of yeah, you, But you're talking, you're talking illegal. calm. Right? Yeah. And, and incentives. Exit comp. People incentives. Yeah, they're in, how much money can they make for a one-sided proposition. So that was a real flaw in the system. Many people at investment banks could make a lot of money if it went well, and if it didn't go well, they really didn't suffer. That's changed. So there are some things in place, clawbacks and otherwise, that are helpful. Were you surprised yesterday uh, Bernanke at, at Brookings uh, was asked for his darkest moment, and he pointed to AIG yeah. Tuesday. Uh, and his discussion with the president at that time, and then the president coming back and saying nothing we've discussed here implies congressional approval. 
Um, does that, did that strike you as interesting? He, it, it did. It did. I'm sure every one of us had, and I've heard Hank Paulson had a, a different point in time. We each had times where it seemed it might be overwhelming. My recollection was after we'd been through the Lehman, we, of course, had to sell the U.S. business uh, in short order to Barclays. So that was something that, that, that was a really intense time because, you know, if nothing else, there were 10,000 jobs at stake. There was a lot about the financial system, but you all will remember the pictures. And I was there at Lehman working on fix, trying to solve it. And there were people, people packing, going, boxes. packing their personal yeah. goods, going home, unemployed, not knowing what the future held. That was, that for me, just was tearing as to the, okay, this is bigger than, you know, it's affecting lots of individuals.